Well, good afternoon, guys. Today's Sunday, middle of October. Anyway, um, I was going to make, it's a cold, blustery day here, which is pretty unusual for this part of the country. I'm supposed to get a little bit of snow, but not holding my breath. Anyway, I was going to make a batch, I was going to make beef stew for supper. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a humongous pot. Here's my pot of beef stew with things from my pantry and a few things I don't have any of uh, that I don't have in the pantry. And then I'm going to can it. So we'll have beef stew all winter and partially some of next winter. And I can also take some with me when I travel in individual serving sizes. So here's what I have. Um, if any of you watch my videos on the beef and the beef broth and the canned hamburger and all that, um, this is my bone broth and some beef broth. The bone broth is a lot richer, so I thought that would taste really good. Here's my canned beef. I'll use two pints of that, so that'd be about two pounds of beef. Um, I've got my canned tomatoes. I'll use at least one jar and see what I need from there. And what made me decide to do this this way was I went down and I found a jar of green beans from, um, well, actually, they're from 2015. Yes, they're still good. They're, as long as you've got a good seal and you keep them stored in a dry, uh, cool dark environment they're just fine um, this is what's left over of my dehydrated potatoes so I will be probably be chopping up some potatoes and put those in chop up an onion and there's my dehydrated celery I'll use a little of that I dehydrated a bunch of garlic the other day put the majority of it into garlic powder but there's a little bit that didn't grind, so that'll be perfect in this stew. Um, did I show you my dehydrated bell peppers? And um, I had some carrots in the refrigerator. All my dehydrated carrots are gone. So I had, I had carrots in the refrigerator. I've already chopped. I don't want to use my canned carrots because they're so good. But um, I may have to use some of them. For us to go to town just to buy, you know, a couple dollars worth of groceries, it's not feasible. We live far enough out that I'll just, I always just use what I have on here. I'll let you know what we're doing. And that's Frankie. Somebody just drove in. Okay, I had to set you on the cabinet there. But, oh, dropped bay leaves. I'm going to throw a bay leaf or two in there. I just dropped two between the stove and the cupboard. That'll be fun. And then I forgot I had this corn in the freezer. Um, I don't know, it's probably a couple of years old, but we vacuum packed it and it's in the freezer. So I'll dump that in there. Had frozen vegetables on sale the other day. Green peas, everybody loves green peas. So I just put a whole bag of those in. And here's my dehydrated garlic. What's that? Maybe a teaspoon? Maybe a teaspoon and a half. Here's my dehydrated bell peppers. What's that? Maybe a quarter cup. Here's my dehydrated celery. We'll call that two handfuls. Might come back and put in more. And my spices are going to be just salt and pepper for now. Oop, that's a lot of pepper. That ought to be good. See, when you measure this way, you never know what you're getting. Oop, that might be about a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to start letting that simmer. And I'll come back if I add more. Okay, guys, I've got it kind of stirred together. And I can tell just by looking that it needed more broth. Because I want it to simmer all day. And the flavors to meld together. And plus I've got quite a bit of dehydrated stuff so and I'm glad I went back down I found two pints um, that I did last fall so that comes to if I'm correct about a gallon and a half of my beef broth and bone broth 
and I don't want to use any more of my good tomatoes. If I decide to put, um, give it a more tomato flavor, I'll add some of my tomato powder from my uh, Garden Fresh tomatoes from last year. But I also decided I may not have enough garlic. So I got another, what, maybe teaspoon of garlic. And after it's stirred up, I need, I want to put in just a few more peppers. So I'll put those in. And these peppers aren't just green, but there's purple and yellow and red. And then, of course, green peppers. They're all bell peppers. And I ended up putting in three pretty good-sized bay leaves. And what else did I put in? Oh, I had a half a bag of mixed vegetables left over. So I just tossed them in too, frozen mixed vegetables. So I threw those in. Anyway, I'm gonna let it simmer and we'll see what we have later in the day. Well, I don't know if you can see it guys, but it's snowing. And look at little Frankie, he's never seen it before. I love the snow. Perfect day for vegetable beef do don't you think anyway the wind's blowing pretty hard out of the north but we have this huge tree belt um, to the north of us so here it may be blowing sideways um, out in the open but here it comes down fairly deep okay guys it's almost supper time and my vegetable beef soup or stew or whatever you want to call it it's been simmering for several hours. Um, after my last clip, I added two more pints of beef broth. The old farmer thought it needed more of a beefy flavor. Um, one pint of it was bone broth and one was beef broth. Some smoked paprika, some Worcestershire sauce, and some chili powder. We're going to eat it for supper, and if everybody likes it, I'm going to can it up as is. I uh, forgot to film me filling the jars, but I think you've seen me can before. And since this has got meat in it, I used vinegar to wipe the lid, top of the lid. Put this on, and then, well, i got to go get two new move rings. I'll put those on there. Tighten the rings finger tight. And my canner will hold nine, ouch, nine pints. And it's got to process for 75 minutes because they're pints. If they're quarts, they're 90 minutes. Okay, guys, um, I've got the jars in there. i got the heat going underneath. And see how the steam is coming out this top vent? It's got to steam for 10 minutes. Steady stream of for 10 minutes and then when that happens I'll put the the weight on. Guys, hear that rattling? Um, I had already put the weight on and it started rattling and so now I've turned it back so it just rattles I think I don't know slower and not as often and once I get the heat adjusted I'll set it at 70 minutes. Alrighty and here we go we've got uh, nine pints of beef stew. Do you hear that ping? That's one of a canner's favorite sound is when the lid seal. Um, I don't know if you can see but some of them are still boiling in the jar and that's normal. So you said when you bring them out make sure you put them on a towel or something so they don't crack on your cold cabinet. So anyway, I'm going to get this uploaded, maybe, tonight. I don't know. It's already way past my bedtime. 